still working on this video um we're going to look at how to connect to a database and this one is going to be very brief because it only requires two arguments and this one will call it um let's call it database okay and um, let's give it um the function is called mysql select db okay it's called mysql select db like this and you feed it with only two um variables okay now i am using the sqli function so we're going to use my sqli function there so my sqli select db now the only two um arguments that it uses is the first one that connects to the database in this case we have connect and then the second one is the name of the database now if you check you discover that we created a database here called course one so we want to connect to course one and um that's what we're going to do so you are connecting to course one okay that is the name of our database course one so I'll save that and now let's say we are doing this for database since we already know our server is connected so this is for database now let me do a control s go to our browser and check okay let me go back and do that again cannot connect to database okay so that means there is a mistake somewhere um let's check that quickly okay the mistake was from me i spelled course one wrongly this is supposed to be an underscore okay so let's check that again and okay now we are connected so it connected to the first one connected to the database and the second one connected to uh sorry the first one connected to the server and the second one connected to the database now there's a different way to connect to the database without um connecting to the server this guy you have you just connect to the server and to the database at once and to do that let's erase this part and let's um assign our database a name so let's call that db and um, our db name is course one okay so now on the my sqli connect function you just change it to my sqli select db So this will be my SQLI select DB and then you give the fourth variable here which will be DB okay now what this does is it connects to the server and at the same time connects to what the database okay now if we check that if we change this to connect and refresh Discover okay, let's see. okay so the function is my sqli connect not my sqli select db okay so it connects to the database and it connects to the server and to the database at the same time okay so this is how you can connect to a database and how you can connect to a server now in our next video we'll start building a small project a very small one that i will put all the things we've learned together and create a form that when filled will send the values 
from the form field into a table in our database okay so i'll see you there